what's up everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on our video today we are always happy to have you guys here so if you're watching today's video kindly consider subscribing to the channel because it's totally free do not forget to like and share this video with your friends and your family On today's video we're going to be sharing with you some of the things that you need to know about planning a destination wedding because having a destination wedding miles away from home means that you're in for a much more intimate ceremony that you can basically enjoy for uh, you can basically enjoy a two for one wedding and honeymoon however planning such an event is not an easy fit so before getting off to a foreign land to marry your love there are some important things that you need to consider Destination weddings are the best fit for couples who are ready to host and celebrate with their guests in a unique location. So, uh, they also can be great for couples with friends uh, spread out across the country or the world. If everyone must travel, why not make it somewhere that you're all excited to visit? So, whether you've decided to have a tropical ce celebration in the Bahamas, an island fete in Bali, or something romantic in uh, Tuscany, uh, we're going to share with you some of the details that you need to know when you're planning a destination wedding. The first thing you need to do is to choose a location. So when you're de uh, deciding on a destination, you have to keep in mind that it must be safe and it also needs to have all the resources that you're going to need. That charming beach town where you spent your childhood, summers won't work if it cannot accommodate all your guests or any other, uh, any of their accessibility or child care requirements. You need to also ensure that there are no recent travel warnings, political issues or health concern in the region. If there are are and you remain undeterred make sure that your guests and family are fully informed and that none of your guests will feel uncomfortable due to their religion their gender or their sexual preference
you'll also need to weigh how feasible the travel would be for your oldest or uh, at least just set guest. A sequence of planes, trains and automobiles may be impossible for your elderly grandparents or your pregnant sister-in-law. So guys, we'll be able to share more tips on our upcoming videos, so make sure that you like, share and subscribe. And I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.